Hey guys, it's Nutcase, and today I got my hands on some really cool uh, handmade watercolors from uh, Pfeiffer Art Supplies. I found them on Etsy, I'll link that uh, link down below. Um, what I ordered was a uh, sampler set of the sparkle, or whatever, the glitter watercolor paints, and then I ordered six half pans, which I also got a little 10 for. Um, but yeah, uh, along with that, she sent a uh, little water brush and a swatch card of all the existing colors that she has. Now, something I didn't notice until I was looking at these just now, uh, all of the names for her colors are all birds, and I, I love that. But yeah, so I went ahead and made a swatch card that I need to fill out with the colors inside. And um, I'm going to do that and swatch some of the other colors and do a little mixing on one page and then possibly do a drawing and painting it on this page as well. One of the things that I will mention, um, I got the swatches from her, the, uh, the little samples here. And they came with this nice uh, little jump ring that has her logo on it, along with her name, her business name. If I can get it to focus. Get a focus camera. Yeah, it says Pfeiffer Art Supplies. So, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get water for this and a paper towel, and we'll do some swatching. So I went ahead and when I was getting these colors got the three primary colors which are yellow, red, and blue. And uh, then I also got uh, three secondary colors that probably, like, I would probably be able to make the same orange and purple I believe with the colors I have, but definitely not the green I got. And so uh, that was why I got those, it was kind of just, I'm not used, to, like I'm not going to be able to make those with those colors. Um, and then also the glitter paints I wanted to get the swatch cards of because I didn't know which ones I'd want But after getting the swatch cards, I now want the what is it the golden sunbird and the uh, golden uh, Starling because they are probably the most pigmented and shiny uh, Like glitter sparkle whatever watercolors I've ever used so yeah, as you can see here, I went from using <laughs> the little watercolor brush that I got from uh, Pfeiffer uh, Art Supplies to my broader one that I usually use. But that's just because I'm doing a big area, so I wanted to be able to do a large surface area. Um, the little water brush is actually very nice, it's just I need something bigger for whenever I'm doing a full thing like this. And I will also say that... Uh, probably because it's just her base paints mixed with mica for the glitter is the reason why I think these blend together it's so great but like they blend amazingly and especially just like having the little uh, ceramic mixing dish there uh, just mixing them there uh, like they make beautiful colors together and I just I love it so <laughs> I can't say enough for the, uh, the glitter paints like they are gorgeous um, and when they're fully dry, there's very little sparkle that comes off. Like I've been handling my sketchbook since uh, I've painted this last night and um, like I just ran my finger across it and there's like a little that comes off, but that's to be expected. But like it's not as much as what I'm used to. So yeah, I really like this. <laughs> and uh, so here I was trying to mix like a skin tone, but I was like, no, I, I don't have a white to also put in there. So I can't really tone it down too much. So I just went ahead and did yellow and orange on the skin just to kind of go with like the galactic feel, I guess. I was kind of having this elf person barping up galaxies anyway, so <laughs> whatever. Um, oh, and another thing I really like about these that uh, I can't say, I can't stress enough. Uh, all the other glitter paints I own, uh, whenever you do ink on top of them, be it white, black, brown, any kind of ink, uh, they don't go over opaque like they don't just do a line over it And so you can always see like the color through it and sometimes a lot of the glitter and whatnot and it kind of messes up my pens 
but like these are a dream to work with if you ink after like they it goes over and it's the solid line there's no nothing showing through and it doesn't mess the pen up i absolutely love it like i can't recommend these more uh the normal colors are really pretty still um most watercolors i feel like once i first start using them i have to get used to how they work but like these blend super well and just I don't know, like, <laughs> I don't know what they do to make these so much of a dream to work with, but I really do like these, and it's not super granulated, which um, I've had experience with that with uh, handmade watercolors before, is they get, like, super granulated, but these don't seem to, and you can make them kind of like that, but, like, you can easily just get smooth layers with them. Like, that's what I was having to do with the blue background. But yeah, like, as you can see here, I can even, like, use my... Uh, pen to draw the little white stars and everything on it but yeah um i'm not sure how well my camera picked it up but i do try to show off here the just like sheer shine <laughs> of the paints and i put a little bit on the eyes just to give that a little bit of shine up there too but yeah i'll have uh, a link to the shop below where you guys could possibly buy these i think she's doing a restock right now when i'm recording this video so she may have them pretty soon i do not know but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this midweek video and i will see you guys on saturday bye